Hi everybody and welcome to Syracuse. My name is Cole Smith and I'm the Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science here at Syracuse. We're very happy to have you here. So I first wanted to start off by congratulating you on your admission and your excellent choice to, to enroll here at Syracuse. We normally have this event in front of a whole bunch of people and a lot of fanfare. I'm hoping that you can still see somehow through this video and all of the other activities that are going on, the very genuine excitement we have to have you here and to be starting another semester. So I'd like to start by telling you something that's really important. You do belong here. This was not an accident that you were selected to be a member of this family. It's not an accident that you were successful in high school and you should have every confidence that you're going to be successful when you get here. Now, of course, we do have some challenging classes in front of you. There are going to be a few nights that are a little later than you wanted them to be working on school stuff rather than social stuff and that is part of the major that you've chosen. But we also have a support network in place and we take that very seriously. More than anything else though, when you're here, I want you to know that you belong. And that's something that we've talked about on multiple facets and it's something that we're going to continue to emphasize over and over again. We aren't looking for the, the next geniuses of the world. Genius is great, but genius is overrated. What we really want to have are people that are commitment. I'm not interested in your, in, your, in your existing, what have I gotten so far, that kind of accomplishment to this point. I'm looking for your commitment and your drive and your interest in what it is that you're learning. I'm looking for your creativity. I'm looking for your imagination. All of the other tools that we're going to be teaching you, that we're going to be training you, that we're going to be working through you in all of these labs and recitation events and lectures, we'll get to that and we'll give you the kind of information that you need there. Also, we're going to connect you with student services. We're going to connect you with career services. We're going to connect you with an outstanding Office of Inclusive Excellence. We're going to make sure that your needs are looked after at every step of the way, but at the same time, trans uh, transfer to you all of those responsibilities for your own success. So while we've got your back, while we understand that you are here for a reason, we also at this point in your career start to move a little bit away from sort of the hand-holding to the actual transfer of responsibility that you're responsible for your fate. It's a cooperative though. We want you to succeed. When you take a look at some of the older videos and the older orientations that you see, especially in engineering and computer science, if I'm being completely honest, it's this whole look to your left, look to your right, only one of the three of you. We do not believe in that in engineering and computer science in Syracuse. Let me, let me repeat that because it's worth emphasizing. For you, the person to your left and right, or if you're looking at this on the Zoom screen, the person everywhere around you, we want you all to graduate. We care about you. We do not have classes that are designed to weed people out. We want the people who enroll to graduate. And we don't make a lot of mistakes. And I'm pretty confident in saying that because we have a 95% retention rate from our first year to our second year. We pay very close attention to those numbers and we want you to be successful. I can't repeat that enough. As you start to progress in your career at Syracuse, you're going to have a couple of different definitions of what it means to be successful. Are you interested in changing the world around you? Are you interested in social justice issues? Are you interested in clean environment? Are you interested in making sure that everybody can learn to program no matter what their background is, no matter where they started from? Are you interested in starting a business, uh, being an entrepreneur, understanding something about patent law, double majoring? There's so many different things that you can do at Syracuse University, and we're very intentional about that. We want you to be able to study abroad. We want you to be able to intern. We want you to do what you came here to do, which was to really excel, and everybody's got a personal definition of what that means. What I'm going to ask you to do is not just focus on getting good grades in your classes, although time out. I am going to ask you to focus on getting good grades in your classes. I'm asking you to go beyond that. Get involved. Get involved with our community. Get involved with each other. Get involved with those items that you came to a top-rate university to really take care of, to really uh, look after and explore. That is incredibly important. We'll give some of those ideas to you, but I want you to be reaching out to us as well with the kind of things that you want to see in the world around you. So I'll close simply by saying that I'm extremely happy to have you here. 
We're uh, extremely excited that you chose Syracuse and I'm really looking forward to getting to meet you in person. Of course, that our, our ability to do so is going to be limited this semester because of safety concerns and I'll repeat this at every juncture that nothing comes before your safety here. That's going to be our primary concern. But you're going to get enough of those uh, videos and you're going to get enough advice on how to stay safe. Uh, I'm actually walking around myself making sure that everything is as safe and as easy to use here as possible. Stay in touch with us. Let us know your concerns. Keep in mind that we're on your side. We want you to be successful and go orange. Now I'd like to introduce to you Dr. Sinead McNamara, our Associate Dean for Student Affairs. Good afternoon. Welcome. College of Engineering and Computer Science class of 2024. My name is Sinead McNamara. I'm the Associate Dean for Student Affairs and I've been teaching structural engineering here at the college for 14 years but this is my first time participating in this welcome event so I thought a lot about what I wanted to say to you. So I think a lot about my first day of college in engineering in Dublin in 1990. Uh, five, and I think about what Simon Perry, who was the dean, my dean, when I was an undergraduate, said to us that day. He said, engineers have saved more lives than all the doctors on the planet put together. Now, it was a big statement, and I think he was trying to get us to sit up and pay attention, but he went on to talk about the way in which clean water and sanitation, designed and built by environmental engineers, manufacturing processes, machines, the electrical systems that power them, facilitate safe manufacturing, they facilitate safe transportation. He talked about infrastructure built by civil engineers that protects human beings from fire, from flood, from earthquake, and from all that the natural world can throw at it. And the words he said to us that day have never been more true than they are today as you start your engineering career. Across the globe, biomedical and chemical engineers are racing to create vaccines and to scale up the production and distribution of those vaccines and the other pharmaceuticals that we need to fight COVID-19. Electrical and computer engineers have created tools and software that give global reach to our communication and to our learning. The US needs more engineers. The world needs more engineers. Engineers who will work together and bring together the skills and knowledge of their respective disciplines to address the obvious technical challenges. Reducing carbon emissions, helping cities fight rising seas, helping the developing world rapidly urbanize, but also the less obvious technical challenges. Global security, healthcare, equity and access. These are all engineering problems. Whose water has lead in it? Whose house is protected by the levy? Whose face is recognized by artificial intelligence? Whose bodies are considered in the design of the park, the design of the car's airbags, or the design of the ventilator? So throughout all of our engineering careers, we must never forget that our first goal, our highest priority, is the public safety. I hope that you are excited and proud to join the College of Engineering and Computer Science because we are excited and proud to have you. Now it sounds like I'm asking a lot of you. You're sitting, you're sitting there, wherever you are. We would have been doing this in an auditorium, but COVID-19. So you're sitting there and you're thinking, okay, crazy Irish lady, that's all very well and good. You want me to save the world, but I have to pass calculus and I have student loans to pay when I'm done with that. I have advice for that as well. We have a whole team here who are dedicated to your success. You've been getting emails all summer from your individual success advisors, Sarah, Gabby, Malia, and Derek. They are a fantastic resource. They will be able to connect you with you all through your time here at SU. They can help you strategize, and they can help you access university resources, and they can help you with things like study skills, tutoring, time management, and wellness and self-care. And I strongly encourage you to think about those last two, because if you're going to save the world, the first person you have to take care of is you. You will meet the careers team, Mary Kay, Anand, Christopher, and Leanne who will help you position yourself for what comes next. They'll help you identify opportunities along the way that'll get you where you wanna go. And they'll help you prepare yourself to take advantage of those opportunities, to be competitive and to be ready for all the challenges that come and all the challenges that you set for yourself. Assistant Dean for Inclusive Excellence, Karen Davis, can tell you more about the other programs we have in place to help you succeed, including academic excellence workshops, which provide some help in our critical early classes, like the pesky calculus, 
and many other events and programs that her office coordinates to help support and uplift all the members of our engineering community. You will meet your professors, one of whom will be your academic advisor, in the coming weeks and semesters. They are also deeply committed to your success. If you are struggling in a class, your first stop should be office hours with the teaching assistant or the professor or both for that class. Your academic advisor can help you plan your path through the curriculum, make room perhaps for study abroad or a co-op, uh, think about applying for a research position while you're here at SU, maybe think about going on to graduate school, and they can write you letters of recommendation when you want to go and do all those amazing things you're going to want to go and do. So please foster those relationships. Don't be afraid to talk to your professors. They want to see you. It's why they come to work. It's why we come to work. And if you're ever not sure where to start, please reach out to me and I'll be happy to point you in the right direction or help if I can't help you myself. So, some last words of advice. Work hard, but work smart. If you are struggling for two hours with a single homework problem, stop after hour one and a good faith effort. Go find your TA, find your professor, find your academic excellence workshop facilitator, go to the calculus clinic, look for some assistance, that assistance is there. Work smart. If you have a writing assignment due in two weeks, make an appointment with the writing center now to help you do an outline or make an appointment for a few days before the assignment is due to help you polish a draft or do both of those things. If you're looking for a tool or a resource or a piece of information for a project, we have an engineering librarian whose whole job is to help you find that thing. So reach out to him. Take care of yourself. Eat, sleep, exercise, all the stuff your mama told you. It's boring, but it's true. Spend time with people who lift you up, who challenge you, who teach you things, and who want the best for you. And finally, this is going to be a weird semester. There's no getting away from that. I guarantee you that at least one thing we had planned for you will change in the next two weeks. So read your email. Read your SYR email. Check it at least once every day, preferably twice, and read the emails that you get from your professors, from your advisors, from the college, and from the university. It's the single best piece of advice I can give you. But feel free to reach out if you have any questions. And I'm gonna hand you over now to our Assistant Dean, Karen Davis. Thank you, Sinead. As Sinead mentioned, my name is Karen Davis, and I am the Assistant Dean for Inclusive Excellence for the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so excited that you chose us to be part of your four-year journey that you're going to take while studying here in the College of Engineering and Computer Science. There's so much for you to look forward to. I want you to see this as the beginning of the next phase of your life. When you come here, you'll be challenged in, very, in various ways. But guess what? You experienced that over the last three or four months when COVID hit. You had to be challenged in ways that you didn't ever imagine that you'd be challenged. We all have, but guess what? We're looking for you to come out on the better end of this for all of us. We're looking for you to be creative. We're looking for you to come and study here in our college and take advantage of all of the various opportunities that in addition to your academics will allow you to grow and allow you to leave here different than the way you arrived here this semester. So some of the things that you can look forward to from the Office of Inclusive Excellence includes AEW. You need to know those three letters AEW, it stands for Academic Excellence Workshop. These courses, and it's a, a one credit course that you will take as a freshman that will complement your calculus class. I urge you to take advantage of every AEW session that we have. It's a collaboration between your professor between your peers who have demonst demonstrated excellence in those areas and yourself. It's a combination of the work between those three, three groups to ensure your success and ensure your mastery of the material, not to help tutor you, not to give you, but, but to give you practice exercises so you can master the techniques that you need so that you can be a successful um, in the classes that you're taking. <clears throat> 
So AEW is your first introduction to the services that we offer through the Office of Inclusive Excellence. Other opportunities you'll gain to um, have exposure to the programming that we have. And we, along with many other departments, your faculty and staff members on campus, we're all working hard to um, provide you with experiences that are very similar to if you were a, we were a full campus without the COVID-19 um, virus restricting, restricting us from the social gathering. So, but you know, you've experienced this. This is not new to you. You know how to navigate this terrain. So we are working um, hard to create opportunities uh, virtually as well as through other unique ways to um, give you an opportunity to gain exposure, to gain um, interpersonal skills, in increase your skills and in interpersonally, to um, gain exposure to industry, to gain exposure to alumni, I, and also to gain exposure to some of the skills that people are looking for you to come out of here with with regard to the issues that are happening in the world today. So it, it involves ethics. By the time you reach your senior year, you'll take an ethics course. But before then, we're creating programming and opportunities for you to understand how the world around you works and how it fits for the various people and their different identities and their different experiences and different levels and positions. So we're hoping to provide you that through the programming that we have. We have um, dialogue circles that you can sign up. They're called ECS 400. They begin in October. They're virtual. We just launched um, our pilot and we will be launching uh, the dialogue circles for almost 100 of your peers in um, the end of uh, August. So you'll have an opportunity to, to participate in our dialogue circles. But we also have various other educational and opportunities for you to gain exposure um, to make sure that you have a well-rounded experience and make sure that everyone has an opportunity to feel supported and valued through the identities that they have. So that's another opportunity for you to gain um, exposure to the programs that we have through the Office of Inclusive Excellence. And I'm not gonna take very long because I can talk for a long time, but the last um, opportunity I wanted to bring in front of you is your ability to join and participate in student organizations and clubs. I can't stress to you enough. You, you know, you heard about study abroad, you hear about career services. You have to include in your school set, in your skill set, soft skills. You have to understand how to lead teams. You have to understand how to develop um, programs. You have to understand how to work with different people. Um, those are the things that you, the skills that you'll gain by um, participating in clubs and organizations. In addition to expanding your network so that you have the opportunity to meet and, and, and come to know people who can give you advice. Who, you also have the opportunity to meet people where you'll be able to give advice to as well. And I'm sure this is not new for you. Well, before you got here, you were involved in various activities and if you weren't, this is an opportunity for you to, to expand your capacity and try something different. So please, when you come here, take advantage of all the opportunities that we have. If you don't understand what they are, if you want a listing of them, contact someone from the Success um, Office, which is 121 Link Hall. Um, we have, uh, we'll have virtual um, check-in hours where you can come and talk with us just about with anything, just about anything. And we'll also have opportunities, you know, through newsletters and through email. I know you hear about that through emails. Be careful about emails, but you have to check them because lots of great information is going to be sent to you through your emails. But but um, I'm not going to stay much longer. I encourage you to take advantage, find your group, find your people, expose yourself to the opportunities we have available to you, expand your network, come here and do the best that you can because this is the beginning of the next phase of your life. And we look forward to going on you with this journey and completing it with you successfully with the resources that you need specifically. So I wanna say welcome to the College of Engineering and Computer Science. Can't wait to have an opportunity to, to engage with you and go Orange.